Alright, so on this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus x equals 5. So I'm going to first start by subtracting x on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 minus x. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the power of x. And these two cancel out, and I get 1 is equal to... 5 minus x over 2 to the power of x. Now, this is the same thing as negative x plus 5 times 2 to the power of negative x. And if I multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 5, I get 1 times 2 to the power of 5 is equal to negative x plus 5 times 2 to the power of negative x. And 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so I get 32 is equal to negative x plus 5 times Sorry, I forgot to multiply this side by 2 to the power of 5. But 2 to the power of negative x plus 2 to the power of 5 is 2 to the power of 5 minus x. Now, I have 32 is equal to negative x plus 5 times e to the power of ln of 2 times negative x plus 5. And now this, this is the same thing as negative x plus 5 times ln 2 e to the power of negative x plus 5 times ln 2 is equal to 32 times ln 2. So I just multiply both sides by ln 2. And now if I take the W Lambert function on both sides, and if you don't know what this is, I highly recommend researching about it. But after that's done, I'm going to be left with negative x is equal to negative 5 plus w of 32 ln 2 over ln 2. And meaning x is equal to 5 minus w of 30, 32 ln 2 over ln 2. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out, and I have 1 is equal to x to the power of x over x to the power of 2. Now if I have something from a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, this is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2. Now if I take the ln of both sides, I get ln of 1 is equal to ln of x to the power of x minus 2. Now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times ln a. Now I, have, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So now I have ln 1 is equal to x minus 2 times ln of x. And ln of 1 is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to x minus 2 times ln x. So now this actually gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I have ln of x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, 
this is pretty simple. All we have to do is add two on both sides. And sorry. We get that. x is equal to 2 and for ln x equals 0 well ln of 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 so my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals 1 alright so in this problem I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81 so I'm going to first we write 9 to the power of x as 3 squared to the power of x and we got 81 as 3 to the power of 4. Now, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Because 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2x. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4, meaning x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, we actually have to find one solution of x before, so we can use that solution to find the other solutions of x. And we actually have to just keep on plugging in numbers until we find a solution. So if you actually plug in 2, you get that x equals, or sorry, that the solution equals 0. So x equals 2 is one solution of x. And now using the solution, we can find the rest of the solutions by doing long division. x minus 2 equals 0 is a solution. So meaning we have to divide this by our original equation. So we have x, x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And if you do this, you end up getting x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula. So I get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all over 2a. This is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i. So these are my three solutions to this problem.